Yeah, last last night's game was pretty crazy. the The tavern was pretty crazy. Dave, I'm just gonna say this: if anything like ha happens, <coughs> I'm gonna walk out of the tavern, leave the door open a little bit, turn around, fountain of flame the middle of it, close the door, and just walk away. <laughs> Oh, bro. I'm gonna uh, some ice for my uh, cup. I'll be, right, I'll be right back. All right. So you guys go ahead and start introducing your characters and everything, and let's uh, let's get going. We got lots to do tonight. Still, you guys are in Drosker's Crucible, so you guys have actually have a lot to do. I'm doing the update. I'm last. Okay, I'll go first. <clears throat> uh, I'm Wolf's. Last Wolf night's game was crazy, guy. That River oh Kingdom my god, guys. Mavon. Oh my god. Where it's pretty corrupted and pretty bad there, so I left there seeking power. So that way, one day I can return and kind of overthrow the evil and mafia-like people. And that's my story. I play. Well, I'm Jack. playing Malaville. Malaville. Go ahead. The, uh, Okay. Now go ahead. <laughs> uh, I'm playing Malaville, the Elven Ranger. Um, I come from the Elven Kingdom of Kionin, and um, my family was Rangers. Uh, my father was killed by a Goblin Horde. I'm back. And I am searching for the Goblin Leader of, by the name of Zook Bone Maul, and uh, Zook Bone Maul. I'm ready for some revenge. Zook Bone Mall. I play Amon Jeb. I'm from a rich family that owns a ton of land, and I'm basically bored and looking for something to do. I play Blixwise, the halfling cleric, who's uh, now currently into uh, finding ways to help uh, with uh, extended rest uh, when in between uh, <laughs> healing duties. <laughs> I play Bactago, the Druid of the Wild. The Druid of the Wild. And I guess it comes down to me. Here well, comes the long story. <laughs> well, I'm Gimli. Uh, I always wanted to be an adventurer. Oh my gosh. Uh, <coughs> wanted to go out and uh, adventure with my uh, daddy's brother. I love Gim. My He's awesome. Used to eat me back at the house. And he he used to beat me back about, uh, with a stick. That old troll got him, so uh, now I'm an adventurer today. Now, this is what happened last week. We gathered our materials uh, that we used to uh, secure the room to take uh, our extensive uh, break. After a brief We're going to need to find Gim a ball juggler. <laughs> room and head north. Coming oh my god. Those, Unbelievable, guys. Unfrickin' believable. Style, charged ahead down the east passage, tripping a trap and falling into a whole floor full of blades, spears, and grinding gears. Sanctum, guys. And a bit on it. Saw a movie. Well, cool. He almost had out. a... It even included a raspy voice saying, Let us play a game. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> They helped, uh, they helped me out out of the trap. I healed up a little bit, and uh, the triggers were located. We headed down the passage, careful not to trip any more traps again. And a group encountered three dying rats. Luckily, the chinchilla wasn't out. Damn it! Eating on a decapitated corpse. Oh my God! Seeing our lights, two of the rats attacked Octago and Melville. Uh, got stuck in a bottleneck uh, and got infected during the fight. And they lost all their healing surges. Damn it. Dirt bought us three healing surges, so Tago and Mount Elk was saved. Thanks a lot, Dirt. <laughs> After defeating the rats, oh uh, my God. the body was searched Too and good. a small journal was found. We opened the door and to the south <coughs> and the entrance, the offering room. Headed north, there is another door. Opening the door to an obelisk is, is seen in the middle of the room. I, Blitzwise, Amon, enter the room. Immediately, they fell to 
uh, they feel the obelisk pulling them toward it and take lightning damage. Next wise gets pulled and stuck to the obelisk. Damn, I wish you would have stayed there. After a few moments, yeah, yeah. after a few <laughs> moments, the effects stop. After getting all the party out of the room, we determine which floor tiles were trapped. This room ha uh, has doors in each direction, and it's decided to go east. As the east door is open, the south slams shut. Heading east, the passage then turns north, and then we travel north to a door seen on the left. After checking a trap for traps, the door is open and the party enters. This is a large room, probably occur occurred to me, of course, and some importance. There is a table, a stone bed, and an anvil. Oh, what a beautiful anvil it was, too. I tell you, I like to have one of them. With a strange device connected to the mall, hooked onto it. By the anvil is a skeleton <coughs> head smashed on the anvil. A construct emerges from the wall and attacks the group. After defeating it, the room is searched. Malvel found a copper owl statuette worth 20 gold, a robe <coughs> and a pair of gloves. The fine details. Time. Gotta love it. After the rest is I know I do. Got the robes of plus one robe, and they are given to wolf's work. The uh, gloves are found to be gloves of agility and are given to Ava. Searching the room, a secret door is found and open. The passage leads west to another room. Open this to the octagonal room after we found another uh, hidden door <coughs> and found with tubes sticking out of the walls in various places approaching the tubes, voices can be heard. Out of two of the tubes, the voices of children can be heard. Out of the third, a voice says, you shall die. A specter comes out and and uh, out of the tube and it attacks. Once the specter is defeated, the party shuts itself into a room and decides to take a long rest. <coughs> Very good, Jim. Nice, nice details. So yeah, you guys are you guys just got done killing the couple specters or wraiths, whatever you wanted to call them doesn't matter to me you guys are basically I guess you guys have boarded yourselves up in this in this nice uh, eight-sided room and yeah, I thought we were gonna do that as part of the skill well that's that's what I'm getting at right now so we're gonna do a, a quick quick skill challenge real quick actually I, I I really don't even honestly there's you guys have basically cleared everything out in the path right now so we'll just say you guys get your your full eight hours of rest and you guys are back at full hit points surges uh, all your powers back all that good stuff so there's really uh, I rolled previously I rolled for a uh, an encounter there was no encounter on the roll so you guys are basically full everything so you guys can get everything back <clears throat> there's really no point on doing a skill challenge when the end result, uh, I know what the end result is anyway, so. Hey Dave, real quick, can you teach my health bar to 35 base? It won't let me do it for some reason. Hmm. It's kind of weird. You're not able to do anything with your uh, token? No, no, I can do, do things with my token, I just can't change the base health to 35 since we leveled up. I got four additional hit points. There you go. Thank you. Well. Yeah, no problem. Can we move on? Sure. You guys are. You guys have been boarded up. Everyone got uh, about six hours of sleep. You guys had several different uh, guard rotations and basically just keeping up. You know, staying up, making sure everything's okay. You didn't hear anything. Nobody was trying to get in. You guys are basically in a this is a secret compartment anyway. So, you know, chances of having an encounter in here, especially when you guys killed the undead already, was pretty slim. So, What I'm going to do, <coughs> since uh, we heard them kids through them tubes, I'm going to yell through the tubes, says, 
<laughs> hey, any of you kids down there? <laughs> you don't hear anything, Gim. No since response. Since you hear no response. Since the hours, I'm guessing they probably moved them. Well, I'll tell you what. You can give me a... If if you want to give me a dungeoneering check, Gimli, I'll let you know what's going on. After you, you know, yell into the... Uh, Weird trumpet looking Weird. horn on the wall. So do a 1d20 plus your dungeoneering. Holy crap, nice roll. What a way to start off the night, huh, guys? Crit. With a crit? Wow. Our early crit of the night, too. <clears throat> so you've seen this in the past, Gim, uh, in other dwarven complexes and mines and caverns. And you know that something like this, after you yell into it a couple times and you don't hear any responses, you can still, you can still hear, you know, kobolds bickering and, and and stuff like that, but you know for a fact that they can't hear you. You can only hear them. It's sort of like a, sort of like a, a well, you know that this is definitely a spying room, because of you know the different, uh, the three different horns on the wall. So basically, what this is is it's spying on three different sections of the dungeon. The three different sections of the dungeon, you don't know. You have no clue. But, like I said, you've encountered this before in the past, uh, especially with you being a dwarf and familiar with this kind of thing. You know that this is definitely for spying only. Okay, I'm going to relate this to uh, the rest of the crew. So there's three of them. That means there's three locations that's going to have spying tubes to pick up voices. That means they're going to be very important locations. So uh, be expecting at least three more rooms that we're going to find something. Since he knows a ton about it, I want to—I'll I'll ask him uh, to, to his knowledge of knowing how these things are built. Should we expect these the other ends of these tubes to be on the same level we're at, or at a different level, or what? Would he know that? He would know that they would be able to take these tubes and have them on multiple layers of a complex. That's if there's multiple layers on a complex. You guys only know of this layer. However, uh, there is a possibility that this place could go deeper. You, you guys just don't know. You haven't discovered anything yet. So, I mean, this is a, a rather large complex. And, and all of you guys know anyway, especially from lore and everything else about Droskers that this place is is definitely a huge place and you guys have barely scratched the surface on it. Uh, I'd like to uh, check out this uh, pedestal that's in the center of this room that kind of seems out of place, you know? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> uh, It's like a, like a small slab of stone on this pedestal. It's attached to it. You know, you can't take it off or anything like that. But what it does is it, it basically has three points. And it has a huge twist of mazes and everything. And it, it's basically, it, it looks sort of like a blueprint of what this place could be. And it has three points that direct you back to this room. So, and this room is an an octagonal shape. So, on the on that actual piece of stone, you can see where you're at. I mean, it doesn't have a neon sign saying you're here, but you can actually see the design of the room. You can kind of follow your way back as you, you know, trace through the, you know, the other room on the other side, and then down the long hall and through the other hall with the trap that Gim fell in. Uh, so, you guys can actually trace it. This is. For this complex and it's for this floor it doesn't show you anything that basically it doesn't tell you that there's another level if there is but it does show you three points and there there's a point uh, to the west a point to the north 
And those are the only two points on the map. The uh, the other point it doesn't really doesn't really go into that much. So you don't know if one of the points is linked to somewhere else or or anything like that. So uh, Dave, I kind of want to sketch this out. <clears throat> sure. Mm -hmm. I do too. I was going to ask if anybody had a sheet of paper. I've got chalk. We can make a chalk drawing. Just scratch got, it across. I got, it. I got. I have pen and paper. I I got a scroll case and some scroll, and I got a writing instrument. Go for it. All right. Well, I take my chalk out and I borrow the paper from Gim, and I basically make one of those chalk. Uh, maps by just rubbing across it so that we can have an exact copy of it and hand the map back. Put my chalk back. I'll All right. After I check it out, <clears throat> I'll roll it up, put it back in my case. You notice one thing as you're as you're scratching it, you see another line connect to a third place, which is actually Ooh. it's it's kind of cool. And 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 this room is sort it's way up north. It appears to be way north and to the west. So there's something northwest, there's something northeast, and something south uh, southwest. I hey, know it. Hey Dave, does this map show show any of the traps that hey, we triggered or the location of the traps? It doesn't, no. Uh, what it does, it, it doesn't give you any details of any rooms. It basically just gives you the room size and a line connecting to the next room. It's sort of it's sort of like a it's not a very big, you know, piece of, you know, obsidian or stone or whatever it is up on the pedestal. So it basically has a room connected with a line to another room, to another line to another, and it and it literally has you know it is accurate so far as what you can tell from where you've been within the complex. So it does seem pretty accurate. Okay. Okay. Uh, these tubes have to be uh, connected to some piping of some sort. So keep your eyeballs out for some piping so we can follow it if we can find some, okay? Okay. Shall we go? Indeed. We have... Yep. Much. There's more than just three tubes on the walls, if I'm not mistaken. There's There's three. There's three horns. Three horns. Mm hmm All right. There's some other small well, rat holes and everything, but, I mean, there's there's not any kind of visual type of instruments like what's on the wall already. You know, the, these things right here, there's, there's only three of them on the wall. Just before we go, I just kind of peek underneath the... the benches that we've been sleeping on just to kind of make sure we didn't miss anything. Boo! No. <laughs> nope, just stone yes, benches. Six more specters show up. No. <laughs> Does anybody fine. happen to check these other walls to see if there's any other secret doors besides the one we can Check the one to the east. There might be something there. The one to the east is where you're at right now and you That's know that there's a secret in. door. So I mean, you can check to the west. You can check to you can check all of the walls if you want. If you want to give me a uh, perception check, that would that would be good. There's nothing else in this room. There was, but I, I literally took it out of the game. Though. I think I, I think I know that the floor is hard with that roll. <laughs> you definitely do, it, and it is cold as well. You notice that somebody farted in this small room. Yeah, you know, like one of the specters dropped the load. <clears throat> yeah, David and Malaville, you guys, uh, you know, use all of your skills to determine that there is nothing else in this room. No walls, nothing else. No hidden compartments. You guys check the benches, check the floor. You uh, push the podium around. Nothing happened. Nothing. You guys get into that Sanctum uh, raffle, right, guys. It's, guys a, um, it's a good game. I played it. Shall we continue? Yes, for yeah, the third time. Sure. Head on back out to the passageway <coughs> into the <coughs> back in worst room. Maybe head towards the north. 
Gim is patient. Gim is impatient. Your two dead constructs. Yeah, Boktog is uh, on the phone real quick. I'm going to have to move his character form. So, Dave, we're playing. Wake up. So we decided we're gonna uh we're gonna head north, right guys? Correct. That's yes, right. I think I think we should head. Let it out there for a moment, sorry. Alright, so you guys uh you guys are looking at your sketch. It seems like the the sketch is correct. There is a it looks like there's to the north, uh, probably a another room up ahead to the left. And also you have the to the south, the circular room that you guys have already been in as well. Um, you, you guys, there's there's lots of ways you guys haven't gone yet, so it just depends on where you guys want to go from here. Okay, I want to I want to pull out <coughs> in the first room we were in um, with the obelisk that had fallen. I had grabbed some stones, uh, hand you know, at least one or two or three or whatever. Oh, the obsidian, yeah. That the yeah, the cobalt slaves cobalt were slaves pulling. Were, yeah, I want to. Uh, I want to ask somebody. I'm gonna pull out one of the the larger rocks that I ended up with, and ask somebody to cast light on it. I'll go ahead and cast it. And the intent is, I'll you know, carry it with me until I need to be stealthy, and then I'll hand it off to somebody else or set it on the ground. But I just didn't want anything that I carried consistently and need in battle to be shining. Yeah, sure. I'll, away, I'll put light on you, and then I uh, will take the light off whenever uh, you tell me that you are going to set the rock down or give it to someone else or, or whatnot. So. Perfect. That's what I was after. Just put it in your pocket. <clears throat> hey, is that a... Inside of an inside plug pocket. Is that a rock with light on it? Or are you just happy to see me? Is your sack glowing? He's he's uh he's tonight's ball juggler. <laughs> Sorry, that was God, no 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 no. Oh. Merlin's baggy pants. All right, so you guys are out the door. Your sketch was absolutely right, and it, it this this is actually kind of weird because on your on your sketching it represents a door however you guys are looking at a wall so now there's there's one flaw that you've discovered in your sketching and it's not on your part it's the actual sketching itself search for doors I uh, search for uh, secret doors I'll do some uh Stone, stone crafting, and try to find it. Dungeoneering, I'll try. Yeah. I'll try to detect magic. <coughs> All right. uh, or chain check, I think. And I'm looking for switches or any sort of a uh, idea or. <laughs> this is that, a real ringer a form. Or, well, or you guys track. are nailing the rolls. Malival, Amon, Kadojo, you guys are all looking feverishly I mean you're pulling all the stops out and you guys can't find anything that is literally going to open up there there's no you can't find any kind of it, it looks like something could possibly be a little weird with this wall but you're not able to determine any kind of mechanisms to get this thing to open up Magic it. and you guys do are, do are looking arcane. that do is my arcane check uh, so you d we're detecting magic, right? Correct. Ah, uh, shucks. Is there so, anything can, on so we can determine that this wall. is a door, or and we just can't find a an, a way to open it. 
it shows on your sketching, like I was saying, it shows that yes, there is a door here, but as you're looking, you're looking at a wall. You can't find any kind of mechanism that's going to, you know, you don't even see the the traces of a secret door or any kind of secret wall or anything. There's no scuff marks on the bottom, there's no scuff marks at the on the ceiling. Somebody's broadcasting as well. With my uh, dwarven logic, I said this is an illusion, so I'm going to walk right into the wall. All right, you walk right into a wall. Kim, don't, Kim, don't <laughs> go right through the wall. Come on, dude. You, I just you hit a wall. Poof. I just, Dave, I, I want to check the side, side of the wall. Uh, just walk right through the wall again. Oh, a perception check. Look at the map. Come on, Gim, wake up. Gim, you walk right into a solid wall. It doesn't bother. I budge. lean against uh, the uh, wall to the north. Okay, you lean against the wall. Okay, that's it's a pretty wall, nice wall. Solid. You're looking at it, going, "Wow, this is a pretty nice wall." <laughs> okay, this is a dead end. Let's go back south and head north. At that Lean against that wall. Same thing, David. And finally, that one. Same thing. You guys used all of your your expertise and knowledge and and trying to determine any kind of. Oh well, I had to try. I was expecting pressure plates, any kind of hidden switches, any triggers, all that good stuff. And when we're walking by, I poke my head and say, "Hi, Patago." Keep walking. Hey. Yeah, I was, I where was you guys been? Where you guys at? Where you, where'd you guys go? We had it. Oh, where are you going, dude? What? Dave, Malvo, where are you guys at? Party's Don't on here. I'm coming, I'm coming. Don't separate the party, man. If you guys I don't watch. if you guys don't have the time to play, let's not play then. Uh we're good. We're good. Don't step on them. Did I forgot? Did we check? I think we uh, should head, we north. Should head north. at least over the, the, the north first. Yeah. Did we check this door to the north? We checked it for sounds. Didn't hear anything. So we we didn't open any other doors except for the one to the south and this one to the north. <coughs> what does the map say about? This door. Uh, there are. This is total. This room is accurate. This room has the four doors. It is a circle room represented on your sketch, and there are uh, small rooms connected to the doors, to the west door and to the north door. Okay, then go in one at a time. Let's check the uh, north door. See if there's any traps, and then open it up and go in there and check it out. Alright, I'll check the door out. And I see it's a door. <laughs> I love the... Wah, wah, wah. Guys, it's, it's a door. And mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. closed. It, you get it automatically Thank zero you, as long as you oh, yes. as long as you have the points just uh, within shame. your name Bang my head on the door it will go ahead and give you a ticket depth defying thank you very much for the follow sir welcome to the community you definitely see a nice beautiful wood and iron type of door again you are you've never seen a door this beautiful in your dwarvish life <clears throat> Okay. <laughs> you guys are able to determine that there's no. Somebody's broadcasting. Somebody keeps broadcasting. Let's get that fixed. So you're able to determine that there are no traps on the store and it is unlocked. And I crack it open slowly to try to look through it. Okay, as you open the door. 
a lot of little flying creatures swarm you. And as you guys remember last week, I told you that you heard squeaking, a high pitch type of squeaking and flapping as well. Because I remember you guys did perception checks on these 